Well, 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 oh, sorry. No, you got it. Welcome, everybody, to 2G Gaming Grand Tour Ohio here in Polaris Mall. It's a very fine scenery here and great place to have a Smash tournament. Hello, everybody. I'm Am Smasher along with Richard Hag. Richard, it is great to work with you once again. We're getting ready for Winner's Finals. Yep, Winner's Finals of doubles here. So we're going to have uh, some of the resident Ohio uh, champions and Mac Attack and Lunic going up against 8-Bitman and Mysteria. And we know one of them from the other side's missing right now. Hopefully he'll hopefully and he'll I, show. The, a curious team, uh, Lunica and Mac Attack, kind of known for Bowser and Little Mac, respectively. And I know 8-Bitman is a Rob main. I think Mysterica has been kind of swapping around what he's yeah. uh, teaming with. So we'll see what the uh, the pick is for winner's finals here. And obviously they're going to know Lunic and Mac Attack, so they'll be pretty aware of uh, what they're up against. Keep in mind, Lunic is the Clash Change Thief champion. Doing that with the Bowser. And it's very rare to see to see a heavy character user win a championship. Right. Yep, Lunic uh, able to get it done out here. I guess uh, Midwest is kind of a little, little softer than most uh, places. But, you know, recently we had Leon doing big stuff at Smash and Splash. So more Bowser reputation, representation getting around. Oh, man, that fun match we had between him and Biggie Cheese back at Hilliard. Oh, yeah. That was fun. I'll bet you and Mindset were having a lot of fun calling <laughs> that game. Yeah. Uh, Lunic and Biggie Cheese kind of went uh, full ham on that. Yeah, I think it was the last match or second match. Last match, like, Biggie Cheese, like, made an up, made a mistake, made a huge mistake going up B, and then Lunic just severely punished him for it. Hanging out in the shop? Yeah, I'm shopping for some head gear. We don't <laughs> I still haven't even cleared all the music stuff on my own uh, setup yeah. at home. Oh, they're gonna use somebody's hammers? That'll make them mad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. If you, want, if you want to get the challenge, if you want to unlock those challenges, you better just complete them. Yeah, I clear World of Light in like the most efficient way I could with the uh, before they nerfed Olimar's uh, spirit stuff where he was like uh, mega broken. And, uh, <laughs> spirit Boy! And I, I just wanted the menu music, but I have not gone and, and like done anything else. <laughs> Looks like they're going to do it though. Setting up some spirit fights. Choose yeah, fight. we're, we're, yep, we're watching spirit fights. As Oh, Mysterio pointed across the, the wall at presumably Ape the Man, and so there he is, and yeah. walked off, so maybe he's on his way to track him down now. Oh, man. This has been a strange start to a match. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they should have done with the World of Light? Like, Kirby being the main character for the first map, and then instead of the two characters being unlocked in the last, like, have, like, Bayonetta be the main character for the darkness part, and then Palutena the main character for the light part. Like, here's what I see for final bosses for Bayonetta's side. Even though you can use other, other fighters that you've rescued in the Dark World. Uh, take it Crom and Roll. And then oh, for yeah. the World of Light for Palutena's final boss. Who do you think would be the two perfect ones? I have two in mind. Uh, light side characters? Yeah. I guess it would just be Palu and Pit, right? Pit and Dark Pit. She would face both pits. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they do. You do end up fighting them like back to back. The way the game is set up. Yeah, even though Paolo is like one of the last characters to unlock in the fight in the world. I've never done this before. I guess yeah. I, I need to up my single player game. <laughs> yeah, I don't play. I don't play. I don't play much of World of Light. Ever since I've unlocked every single character through the regular methods. Right. Yeah, I went through, did all the unlocks, and uh, I really wanted the menu music. I uh, had a massive reference to the, the brawl and melee music over. Ultimate. Yeah. How excited are you for the hero from Dragon Quest and Banjo Kazooie coming later this fall? So, uh, you know, I was right around the age where I hit, I was, uh, what, like, Ready? eight, I Go! think, or something like that, when, and I played through all the Zelda games, all of the Mario 64, and uh, Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, 64. Those are like some of my favorite games. Oh, here, pretty excited for this game. The spirit battle. Oh no, the Mii Fighters got them. 
I, I'm also, I, I'm really curious to see, they, they had that intro of where he shoots out the, the grenade and you can pick it up. So as a snake player, like that's kind of exciting. If there's another interactable uh, projectile with the uh, Ready? explosives. Go! All right, here we go. Mac and Bowser going up against the Kirby's here. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah, so one, one, one Kirby down. <laughs> I was gonna say that CPU Kirby's it, trying to get itself killed there. They're down to one Kirby. I, I this might be no team attack. This is wrong, right? No team attack. <laughs> That's gonna do it. Victory! Well, we finally found the 8 bit man. We found him. So, enough commentating spirit battle. <laughs> I just saw Bowser just shooting there. Alrighty. Let's see you there, Bowser. Well, enough silliness aside, we are getting ready for winner's finals in doubles brackets. Finally getting it into it here. Yep. <laughs> um, now I'm, I'm curious to see if anyone with Hysterica is going to be playing here. Yeah, Hysterica, he mysterious when it comes to mains, as you've mentioned before. He's just one of those players where, like, I think a lot of people, um, you know, their main from the past games kind of changed uh, yeah. enough to where, and like, with the system changes as well, where they didn't necessarily feel it as comfortable, and then they just kind of picked up a lot of the more generic good stuff characters, where your Rapala, your Wolf, those stuff that just like, it just works. Yeah, I've never played much of the first three games. I never really had much of a main for the first three. Smash 4, 4, I really liked playing Palutena, and I played Cloud, played Corrin. But the mechanic changes to Ultimate, I still main Palu. I, I also decided to pick up Incineroar. So, uh, ooh, got the Bayonetta! Okay. There's been a lot of uh, hype for Bayo in Ohio specifically because of how uh, successful Geist is uh, around Columbus and just barely getting started with his traveling. Guys are pretty young, uh, so I'm excited to see how his Smash career develops. I'm excited to see how many more people pick up or pick back up Bayonetta after the buff she's gotten in 3.1. Right, definitely uh, a bunch of different characters. Oh boy, just look at that combo game right away, right there. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to pick in this matchup where you have two characters that can get really abused by a powerful double combo. Oh boy. Oh! Man. Oh! 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 We just saw three out of four get taken down at the same time. Wow! Oh, there's Witch Time. Ooh, got lunch, but I think he'll make it. Nope, never mind. And 8 Bit Man making sure he does not get on that ledge. Yeah, actually, man. That was look, at the <laughs> <laughs> look at the damage that 8 bit Mysteria Myster has taken so far. It's such a weird mini game, though, like in doubles where Bowser Bomb hits everybody. So you're like constantly trying to swing into or away from someone to get like a hit. Oh, oh, wow. Up oh, A babe, finishes the job against Mysterica. Yeah, and uh, at the same time, uh, Luna able to get the dare against. Look at the Mac attack, Mac attack and, and Lunik so far. They're putting on a show. Halo Punch really threatening this one. Ooh, yeah, just, miss, yeah. Missed that one. And Lunik wanted to jazz it up here. Like he, like he did there at Cost 2019. Just running around. trying to finish it early. What we got is. Up smash. Up smash out of shield. Good adaptation for him. Oh boy. Is he? Oh my goodness. Oh, Bowser's so big. He's just living. Well, and not with that finally. one. <laughs> finally able to chase down the kill. You're almost at 200% there. I mean, I, you kind of expect that against the heaviest character in the game, so you have to adjust your, your normal thoughts on it. Ooh. Okay, 
Yeah, it's almost. Oh, now he bit nice. the dust. Wow. Very early uh, KO there coming out. And that could be a huge momentum killer for these two. 8-Bit Man and Mysterica are on their way to make a first win unless the, the back attack could just somehow keep himself alive. And, you know, he's capable of getting quite a bit of kills. He's going to lose that KO punch. Big killer right there. This can go either way, but it looks really hard for Mac attack. Yeah. yeah. After the early kill against Lonick, everything was pretty much looking more smoothly for 8-Bit Man and Mysterica. Yeah, I think he took 70 in that one juggle advantage state, or you know, right after Lunik died. So just really tough for Mac to pull off 2v1s when he starts out in disadvantage because getting back to the ground is just always challenging for that character, and it's even worse when there's two uh, opponents contesting here in Lightning, so. And 8-Bit Man did really well landing those down airs. Yeah, he got quite a few spikes off, actually. Yeah, it's very true. And it's always so exciting to see a spike land in this game. My favorite spikes to see that, probably the most satisfying spikes I could see. Palutena spike. Oh, Incineroar's cross chop. <laughs> oh my goodness, that kills at single percentages. That's what I call the incinicide. Very, very risky to pull off. I do not recommend you pulling it off at all. All right, here we go. go. Town and city for the counter next day. Let's see what Mac and Lunik have to offer with the advantages they can pull off in town and city. Mac off to a great start, and as well, both of them winning uh, the their respective kind of one v ones as they open out this match. Ooh, Monsters Turtle about to body slam the witch right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow! I thought that was oh going to be a double goodness. ladder. <laughs> oh, he, he accident. Never mind. I am, double battles are tough there to, to keep track of four characters at once. I was about to see Lunik able to take out Mysterica's first stock. Yeah, it's uh, after a really strong start, it actually ended up kind of being evened out. So. The, uh, the disadvantages of the slow tier characters are really being used. Because despite their, their early leads, they're just really not able to hang on to it. We saw that in the last match. Yeah, very timely reversal from. Oh boy. Watch out. Don't, don't crush those bones there. Don't get your bones crushed. Man, Ludic is really throwing a lot of death matches. I guess he feels safer doing it. Oh, you saw another another spike from 8-Bit Man. And he's timing his air really well to test the recoveries. And coming out from the back air to get it to secure the door. Oh, 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 double kill. <laughs> Lunatic. He is being a lunatic right now. Yeah, a lot of multi kills coming out from Lunatic and Mac Attack so far in this series. And these. You know these two are hungry for revenge after what's happened in the last match. No spike for 8-Bit Man this time. Ooh, hoo -hoo, and this is the position you want to be in where Bowser is holding onto an extra stock for the little Mac in case he gets the stock in the stage. Very good, very good strategy. You're heavy, you can survive much more punishment. <laughs> yep, Mac Attack uh, smartly waiting out the air dodge after he lands the, the down tilt, which, you know, down tilt kind of the main tool for Little Mac to get his advantage state started, so able to get the KO punch. And, uh, there it is. And you can see, you can tell by Mac Attack's face that he wanted that KO punch to land. So now we are going to game number four. Three. So we'll see at least two more matches since this is a best out of five. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder if that means their yeah, their stage list is going to be really tight there uh, towards the end of the set if we go to five games. Okay. Are, we, are we running modified DSR? Yeah. I'll, I'll double check. Where we're going here. Um. I think they they prefer the larger stages, right? Yeah, like you're you're a heavy character, you probably want the heavy stage or not or 
or, or a small stage, so you can send your opponents packing easily. Packed to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Just like Lilac Cruz when, when Cyber went Ganon and took advantage of his opponent in a small stage. Maybe a change in outfit for, for Mysterica. Hey, oh, a lot of good outfits. Yeah. That's what Palatina says. Wearer of questionable outfits. <laughs> Three, two, one, Alrighty. go! Anyways, we are here at match three. Yeah, fire. Well, man. And we got, and then we got a, we got, we got a tab in our, in our screen here. Well, that would affect anything on, on this. You're no bad. <laughs> yeah. Get All that right. out of there. We want to watch the match. Ooh, interrupt that. Interrupt the range. Interrupt the lasers. Yeah. Laser on three. <laughs> Ooh, got the counter. And he's got his. Oh, and he whiffed the KO punch. Yeah. It's nice thought trying to go for it off of the flamethrower. Because you know your uh, Bale's trying to uh, escape outward. But he gets a jump off. Ooh, double. Oh, okay. Very close. That's almost a double kill. Oh, that's a double Oh, oh nice no, 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 no. But in the end, Mac comes up with the These two have been working really well. They got. Ooh, 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 ooh. man, another spike. Yeah, he's really on top of the spike, uh, especially Mac Jack. Preventing the. Yeah, Mac vulnerable on recovery. And you gotta go use it. Now, momentum has just changed ever since the second game. I'm kind of surprised not to see more like, big Bayo combos on Team Bowser. And keep in mind, we know from 4 to Ultimate that Sai-V used to render Rob help, but not anymore. Oh, here comes Witch Time. Got the dodge off. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea how a uh, looting man should buy that Witch Time, but... <laughs> Look at the percentage he's gotten racked up with. Yeah. As you can see with Heavy, they're going to survive much longer. In Bowser specifically, it has like, it's like in a major category of Heavy compared to the rest. So. Compare that with the heaviness of Ganador. All right, we're in a similar situation as we were last game. Look, it looks like Mech Tank. I bet they're probably going to end up targeting... Oh, maybe target Blue. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> And this could spell trouble for 8-Bit and Mysterica. Oh, very nice battle to get to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a little, little bit of a friendly fire there. Especially when you when you when you have a little man laying a KO punch, it can basically ruin what could be left of any momentum for the, for his opponents. Yeah, uh, you know, a lot of characters have some kind of gimmicky strategies in it too. So Perfected Wario with the Womp, Little Mac with his KO punch. Yowzer! And the witch is getting messed up. She always says, never mess with the witch, but. <laughs> Bowser and Max say, you know what? We don't care if you're a witch or not. We're Sur taking you down. I'm surprised how many uh, counter KOs The move is, uh, you know, it's a little telegraphed. There's not very many landing options for Bowser, so a lot of times you can scatter it out. But he's had a lot of success with it so far this time. And Ape it, man, with the spiking, with the down air. I know there's a sour spot with it that doesn't give you the spike. I know, I didn't think there's a sour spot with it. But other than that, Ape it, man has gotten so many of that. It doesn't matter much. He's landing a lot of them, but they are. But he and Mysterica down to one. We're gonna see what adjustments they can make to be able to pull this one back and maybe force a game on. Ooh. So far it seems like they're not. Oh, okay. Mysterica going with the Zelda. We don't see Zelda much in tournaments. Yeah, she, uh, you know, there's a lot of hype for her changes to her moveset, but realistically she's still a pretty uh, low tier character as well, so. Will this change be good enough to help these two? Oh! Very nice. Ooh, got the sweet spot. <laughs> it's the lightning kick there. Yeah, the Nairus love out of heal is uh, really cool. That neutral B is very good if you time correctly. Because 
You can, like, keep your opponents away from you with that. Yeah. Even I have a tough time getting through that. It is, um... It's a little bit of a, a Wi-Fi tool, but... Oh! Nice! <laughs> Her summon just finishing the Bowser off, and yeah. Lunik is down one, down to his first stock. Excellent setup from um, uh, Stereo. Oh, wow. Double parry. <laughs> Interesting little exchange. I'm surprised not, not to see a kill spot. Uh, <laughs> well, so far right now, it's, it's, it's Lunik and Mac Attack having troubles here. They're down two combined stocks. Yeah, the counter pick is definitely working out. And the sweet spot! <laughs> Mysterica with the Zelda! I'm surprised to see him so comfortable with this character. Like I mentioned at the start of the set, though, you know, a big multi class player. Alright, finally gonna be able to secure a kill. But, you know, at this point, hey, it's uh, unlikely we're gonna see the five stock in the come back. Oh! But here's 8 Bit Man still surviving. And now saying, right. it's my turn to rack up some damage on you. Yeah, they've done a really good job of kind of setting up their respective zones and just really controlling the whole stage. Now, oh, you're going to have a very tough comeback at this rate. You're at 77%. Yep, there it is. Sweet spot, sweet spot up there. You're not coming back from that. Yeah, a lot of really brawly games here. Um, which tends to happen when you don't have any like super abusive characters on the screen, right? Yeah. Well, Winners Finals now having a game five. And we're, we're I think we're ready to see how this is gonna go down and see what Mac Attack and Luna can do to adjust to what has transpired in that fourth match. The question is, what did it go for heavy and characters that don't have a well recovery? Or a good recovery, I should say. Or go for someone who can who has a balance of pretty good attacks, a good recovery. So we're gonna see what Mac Attack and Lunik are gonna do. Still waiting on what stage to, to go with. So if they're not immediately going back to town, I'm kind of curious what the thought process is. Yeah. Final Destination? I don't think they'll go Final Destination. You would assume FD is the band. Yeah, that Final Destination has to be the band. So... It's like so many people like to go to Final Destination in Melee. Alright. Going to Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield FD are probably the most oh, so common so stages in Melee. Definitely Even though I don't play much melee, I've just observed it. And well, then again, they don't have the option to turn off hazards for like Pokemon Three, Stadium. Two, right, so one, we're sticking with the Zelda. It really worked out for them. Uh, it might, uh, let's see if she struggles more, it's a lot harder for her to kind of set up her own space in a small team battlefield. So. Very true. If you're a projectile character, a space character, you need a large stage. So far, we're mostly, we're almost even. <laughs> oh, you saw, you saw right there. Lunic shield was pretty small there. I can't believe that smash didn't kill. Oh, 8-bit accidentally hitting his teammates. Well, yeah. Yeah. again. Ooh, the teleport and the DI is going to save. Mac attack. Yeah. Ooh. Nice parry by Mysterio to survive, but then uh, Mac Deck runs up a forward tilt to now. Mysterio's not there. Yeah, we are almost even. Mac only won with all three of his stocks. Yeah, we'll see if Mac Deck's able to. Yeah, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterio just yeeted him to the blast zone. He yeeted it up, yeah. This game, you know, the, a lot of the games have been pretty dominant and one sided so far, but it looks like we're going to have a really close game 5 coming in here. Ooh. He is making sure he tries to stay back to stay on stage. It's no, knowing his little Mac, we know little Mac isn't too well known for his recovery, and he won't get that smash attack in. Mac Tech struggling to land. Yeah, as soon as he got on the ledge, that was kind of good for the stop. Oh, that was gutsy. He, the Styrica challenged Lunix down down A and able to win that one. A very nice late sequence from uh, 8 Bit Man. 
he gonna look for the dare? Nope. They're they're interested in There amazing. it is! Yeah. That's a dangerous combo if you could time that correctly. Oh boy. How quickly this is gone. Mac attack's already gone. Wow. Yeah, it was four stocks to four stocks and all of us and Ape Man and, and uh, <laughs> Mysteria both started Look. winning the one v ones, so Luna getting messed up here. Yeah, again, not a great, uh, you know, 1v2 character. Bowser really susceptible to abuse, and we're seeing a lot of it. Oh, he's able to take down... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ooh, Ooh DI yes. saves him. Is that going to do it? He's he's not coming back. Nice. <laughs> anyway, they, well. they got Mysterica and Ape Man to one stock, but that doesn't matter. Sure. I mean, they were, you know, kind of throwing their stocks away at that point. They didn't, weren't super concerned about uh, the Lunic comeback. Well, Lu we'll see Lunic and Mac attack again in losers finals. Right. But right now, Mysterica and Eight Bit Man are going to be chilling and relaxing as they wait for who's going to face them in grand finals. And we'll see how many more characters Mysterica busts out in grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love to see a mix of mix up of characters. Instead of going for just one, I, I find it more fun seeing Who's someone, someone going for a mix of, of characters. See. I got the bracket right here. 